Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading Cancer. Let's see what messages will show up for you. We have clarity. Cancer, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. So we have clarity, we have intuition. Oh, you're very connected to the spirit. Very intuitive at the moment, Cancer. Listen to your intuition. Your inner voice is guiding you in the right direction. Okay? Answers are within reach. Clear thinking. For some of you, you might be practicing meditation or might be into that sort of form of relaxation. If that's the case, it's very beneficial for you, Cancer. Love, closeness, affection, strong chemistry you share here with someone with this, with this intimacy card. Intimacy card. There is someone who wants to be closer to you, Cancer. Autumn. So we have September, October and November. Those months might be quite important for your situation. We have perspective. At the bottom of the deck, mm -hmm, I feel that you've changed perspective about certain things. You possess clarity uh, with regards to specific situation. You know, some of you might even change your mind about something or someone. But overall, I see you being here really divinely guided and very connected to the spirit, to spirit. To spirit, I should say. But let's see. What do we have? We have two of wands for you, Cancer. Okay, what else we have? Ooh, we have someone here, Cancer. You might be dealing with Aries. I also have Pisces. Wow. I also have Pisces, Scorpio, another Cancer as well. We have the lovers next to it. Um, Gemini energy as well. Okay, so you might be dealing, again, let's, let's repeat this. You might be dealing Cancer with Aries. I have Gemini. I have another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This Emperor, it's in love with you, Cancer. They are thinking about you with the two of wands and this is their intention they want to be with you they want relationship with you this emperor look he's focusing on this queen of cups this is someone who is uh, who has very strong feelings for you they want to be with you with the two of wands yeah they are planning they are planning they are thinking about you What else we have for cancer, please? Cancer. We have the two of swords. Okay, thank you. We have a seven of pentacles. We have the ten of wands. One more, please. And five of pentacles here. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the deck, we have a seven of wands. It's like it feels like there is something here, Cancer, that has been quite challenging. With the two of swords, it might be a case that you are now at the crossroads, or you might be coming into conclusion that certain choice or decision has to be made. With the Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Wands, yes. It is like you invest in something, you've been very caring, very nurturing. Dedication, it's attached to this card. Very, you were very dedicated in order to something to, to kind of um, manifest. And with the Ten of Wands, I feel very strongly that you put so much work into it. But within time, it starts being like a... Start... Um, appearing like a like a like a burden with the ten of wands and with the five of pentacles i feel that something indeed is making doesn't make you feel sat um, it it's causing you dissatisfaction 
what I'm getting very strongly is this energy of you being by your own when it comes to this particular matter with no support and no help and for some of you even understand, understanding understanding it's like ten of one six five of pentacles it's like someone here is just left by their own and they have to face those adversities or those problems or those issues and they carry this heavy burden it feels like you know having a so much on your shoulder and with the five of pentacles there is no support it's like being left out in a cold and here is the thing with the two of swords it might be a case here cancer that you are reaching the point that you might be feeling well something here has to give because i don't know what to do i put so much work into, into this thing into this situation but i don't see it giving any results maybe there was a case that from time to time you see something here like a benefit of your dedication but in a in a highest scale you know in a in a in a, in a kind of what if you look at the situation from if you look at this situation uh, take into account it like a bigger picture it's not enough because this seven of pentacles is very interestingly portrayed it's like a six of pentacles here and we have this one pentacle like a like a something that it's already manifested so a profit right but it's just one pentacle and i'm getting with this energy it's not enough that's why for instance it might be a case that you've that you uh, that you, that you um, not being stuck, but that you didn't want to resign from the situation, because from time to time you could see that something here is changing, or you could just kind of get this this this. Um, it's not like something was stuck, right? And I feel that from time to time you could take something. So you saw some sort of benefits of it, but in a higher scale, it wasn't enough or it's not enough because you should be in a position to take all these pentacles not just one and you might be coming from the place now or reaching the point that yes I invested a lot and yes from time to time I could see that situation changed or I could see profits not much but a little bit from time to time but when it comes to the bigger picture you might be coming to the to, to the point that it's not enough and with the seven of wands I feel that some people might even you know in the past they tried to convince you to resign from it and you were you know you were trying to protect this this thing that you invest in it that you invested that you were invested in that's that's what I wanted to say so for instance it might have been a situation that people were saying well don't put your your dedication and your resources into something or your time or your affection because uh, we can't see uh, it to to kind of be beneficial for you right and with the seven of ones you might kind of had a took a strong stand and said no I want to defeat it I want to, sorry I want to defend it <laughs> I want to um, protect my point of view I, 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 I want to do it right but with the two of swords I feel that you are reaching the point being at the crossroads because something here is not giving you or it's not you can't see much profit with regards to something something it's not manifesting the way you want this to to manifest and it start being a burden and why i'm getting here that some people refuse to help you with regards to this thing that's for some of you but i'm getting this with the five of pentacles therefore i'm seeing you uh cancer being at the crossroads at the crossroads meaning should I resign from this or should I keep on going? But it starts being a burden and I have no support, no understanding here because people are not on the same page with regards to this particular thing. 
But we clarified your reading here, Cancer. So let's see. Let's see. Let's clarify this. Why the Emperor? Why the Emperor? Show us more about this Emperor for Cancer. Magician. Okay. So this Emperor is trying to manifest you, Cancer. We have Temperance. So we have all major Kana. You might be dealing with Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius. One more, please. Why we have the Emperor. Show us more about this Emperor. And we have Knight of Pentacles. Someone here, Cancer, has uh, serious intentions towards you. Someone wants relationship with the lovers with you. They have feelings for you. With the Two of Wands, this is someone who is planning... I feel this person is thinking about you. It might be a case they are observing you, you know, in the sense of if you have social media, they checking social media in order to see what you're up to. Magician, temperance, knight of pentacles. This person, it might be a case that you didn't kill someone who is quite stable, you know, who means business. This is someone who is real, who can, who is reliable who is loyal but knight of pentacles has a tendency to take a long time in order to arrive to 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 his destination let's say it that way next to temperance is like a divine timing this person feels at the moment that as much as they want to be with you uh, it might be not the right time the timing here might not be best and with the temperance it, it looks like mm, something here is happening behind the scenes. But um, it's like the circumstances. It's, it's, I don't know, it's like a... Because temperance is a divine timing card as well. Like, a, you know, um, it's a very positive card. It's a very grounding card. It's a very healing card. But I'm seeing here that this emperor, it's taking their time because they are thinking that uh, they, they, they want to come forward in a right way when the time is right. And with the magician, I'm seeing it that this time it's coming. So you might feel that indeed, you know, this is someone who is taking a long time to kind of, uh, I don't know, for some of you it might be declare their love, declare their interest, uh, tell you that they truly want to create a union here with you, but it will happen because the magician is manifesting this divine timing and something here is coming to fruition. Okay, we have this card which, which, which says love, closeness, affection, sexual chemistry. This is someone who is incredibly, who feels a very strong magnetic uh, connection. Um, magnetic uh, who feels very strong magnetic uh, I don't know how no no that's the wrong way to say <laughs> this is someone who who feels very strong soul connection with you let's say it that way they are they are very attracted to you there is this chemistry this is someone who really wants to be close to you and this person is in love with you they are, they are manifesting this, this divine, this fruition of this divine timing. You will soon hear from this person, I feel, very, very strongly, uh, some sort of declaration of love with the magician because they are trying to manifest this. They're trying to manifest relationship with you. But you might feel that it is, it takes, it's taking forever for this person to come forward, to reach out, to kind of, to make themselves known. But this emperor has love for you here, Cancer. You have someone who really wants to be with you. They really want you. They really want you. But if you tell me, well, I, I, they are, I, I you might get an impression that this person is not interested or something like this. 
I would say I can see that because it looks like they are taking a long time here to come forward, but they manifesting it, they manifesting. It might be a case that you are dealing here with someone who've always tried, you know, it's waiting for the right moment and never, never this moment, it's, it's like a, it's the right one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. Yeah, something like this. You know, it's like, or oh, maybe tomorrow, or maybe the day after tomorrow. It's like, it's never the right moment. It's never the right time. But with the magician, something here will happen. Something here, this person will say something. I feel that they will come forward because magician is a ultimate cut of manifestation. So something will happen. And I feel it will bring happiness, you know. This person, I feel that they will, they will say something. They will kind of show affection and love. Because their intention is the lovers. They want to be with you here, Cancer. You have someone who wants relationship with you. And who, who wants a long-term relationship with the temperance. Balanced relationship. They want tranquility within this connection. They want to be a partner. And they will come forward. Mm -hmm. So why the two of swords? Why the two of swords? We have an eight of wands. Page of swords. Okay. Knight of Wands. It's like gaining more information in order to be perfectly sure that this decision is the right one. That's what I'm getting. For some of you, Cancer, you might be indeed gaining some, trying to uh, get more information. We have the Tower, we have the Moon, we have the Four of Cups. So Cancer, you might be dealing with Pisces. I have also Aries, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I'm seeing here, Cancer, that some sort of form of information, um, communication, message will arrive. And I feel it will be like a deal breaker with regards to this, this thing that we were talking about. With the Tower, the Moon and the Four of Cups. Yes, I feel that, you know, there is a certain... With the moon, there is this energy of not, of not being fully sure what to do. But tower, it's, it, it is a very kind of a strong energy, complex energy, but it also brings enlightenment. Okay. And with the four of cups, at the end, I see that Again, something here is not enough. And I feel that you will gain some sort of understanding about it. Because with the Two of Swords, it's like you are... Yes, you're at the crossroads. Then you might feel that there is a certain thing that you have to make a decision about. Eight of Wands to the Page of Swords, Knight of Wands. It's like ga gaining information to be perfectly sure about something. That it's the right direction for you in order to... In right direction mm, I feel you just want to be sure that your decision is the right one because at the moment you might be still kind of uh, there is a hesitation but it's tower to the four of cups it is like a like a moment of like an eye opening, like a moment of clarity that something here something here hasn't hasn't uh, hasn't been good enough or something doesn't make you happy anymore with the four of cups because this is a card of dissatisfaction, boredom it's just something it's not enough that, that's, it's not good enough and I feel that with this Two of Swords, eight of, eight of Wands, Page of Swords, Knight of Wands, you will gain a certain amount of uh, information. 
and um, that will uh, bring clarity about something and for some of you I feel that it might be a case with the four of cups that you will resign you will reject this and you will say well I don't see now I possess all the clarity but at least I know where I stand with this you know something like this is coming it's 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 showing sorry it's showing and with the four of cups you know you might come into conclusion that at the end yes that doesn't make me happy anymore or it doesn't bring me enough happiness and personal satisfaction it's like being stuck in something in uh, stuck with the idea or attached to the idea that something here will make you happy but it's but it doesn't okay I feel you will make a decision and I feel that you will make a decision with regards to this particular situation and it won't be just a decision like that without any fault to it you know I feel that with this energy you will kind of take into consideration everything all the information you have uh, good size and bad size this is a very methodical energy you know kind of being very analytical like knowing knowing the facts essentially and 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 making decision based on uh, those facts information that has been provided to you so why the five of pentacles we have the justice we have seven of wands that was showing up we have a nine of swords oh gosh okay queen of pentacles wanted to show up we have a page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck for you cancer you may be dealing with libra justice seven of wands three of pentacles nine of swords queen of pentacles something is giving you headache this situation this thing that you've invested so much time energy and that and, and and dedication it's giving you headache with the nine of swords and i feel with the seven of wands you you've tried to kind of defend your position you tried to express your point of view you were very protective over this thing with the three of pentacles and here is the thing there was no collaboration again what i was getting that whatever the case might be here cancer please take it how it resonates for your situation but i'm seeing that uh, someone here or people more people might be involved in this situation they they weren't or they are of no help it's like a lack of support lack of being a team player is someone here didn't help or didn't want it to help and here is the thing you might feel well I've tried I've tried but at the end you know it might be beneficial for me to direct my focus on something else or someone else it might be a case for some of you and it's like with the justice it's a right thing for me to do And let's not forget that this is very interesting. Look, we have this one pentacle from the seven of pentacles card, right? And this queen of pentacles here, it's holding this pentacle. I'm getting very strongly that it, 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 I feel that in spite of difficulties and challenging situations or problems with regards to this, this, this situation, you gain here something. Because this Queen of Pentacles has a lot to offer. And we have this pentacle. Right? So it, it is like Spirit wants you to know that no matter what you decide here, be reassured that uh, overall you gain a certain benefit. You gain something from this situation represented by this pentacle. And now it depends on you how you will invest this. 
With the Page of Pentacles, this is like a um, potential. There is something here, potential. And again, he is holding a pentacle, right? The same pentacle as this Queen of Pentacles. Spirit wants you to know that there will be pot that there, there, something here will manifest or something here will come into light. And with the Page of Pentacles, you will be given some sort of form of opportunity to invest this metaphorically saying this pentacle that you uh, gain from this experience from from this project whatever the case might be that you invested so much time and you've nurtured it you will have possibility to kind of uh, to invest this with someone or somewhere else okay so it's not like everything it's just you know that it didn't work out totally because spirit wants you to know that you gain much more than you you that that you, for instance other people might think you gain much more and it can be for instance uh experience it can be uh knowledge it can be uh money for some of you Please take it how it resonates. But there will be opportunity here, Cancer, to have a new beginning and to invest this pentacle, whatever this pentacle represents to you, for you or to you. Uh, somewhere, somewhere else or uh, with someone else, okay? Cancer, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Cancer, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. Take care, Cancer. Bye.